Um, is, is Peugeot still a cyclical company or, or not nowadays? Because once you said actually that the company was no longer cyclical, and by cyclical, I mean economically sensitive to consumers. Well, we are obviously uh, uh, sensitive to uh, the overall economic conditions. Uh, uh, if you look at the evolution of our results uh, last year versus the year before, uh, uh, we did suffer uh, from the evolution of the exchange rates on the one hand uh, and on the evolution uh, of the uh, European markets on the other hand. So yes, uh, we are dependent uh, uh, of the uh, economic environment. Uh, but uh, our target is uh, to maintain in all economic conditions uh, a minimum return on capital employed. Uh, and this we achieved uh, last year, which was considered as a difficulty for us, uh, as uh, our return after tax on capital employed uh, was 9.3%. Uh, second question, w do you expect to be able to follow the examples of Bosch in France and uh, Siemens and Daimler Chrysler in Germany in clawing back some of the benefits that you gave to your employees during the 35-hour uh, week law? We don't think that uh, uh, those are examples for us. Uh, uh, we have been negotiating beforehand, a few years ago already, uh, a, a comprehensive agreement uh, with our unions. Uh, uh, which organizes uh, uh, quite a lot of flexibility uh, in the production of our cars uh, uh, in Europe. So uh, uh, we, we are not uh, demanding uh, any evolution today. Uh, we feel that uh, we can obtain uh, the uh, production results we need uh, uh, through our present agreements with our unions. We've seen the impact of Toyota in, in the States and how it's been eating market share fairly voraciously. Do you think that Toyota can do the same in Europe? Well, Toyota is certainly a very uh, aggressive and powerful competitor. Uh, if I look globally uh, uh, at the uh, market share of all Japanese manufacturers in Europe, uh, uh, their market aggregate market share uh, in year 2003 was exactly the same as the one they had in 1993, 12.7%. Uh, final question. Uh, what about Forex going forward? I, I, I've spoken to analysts that think that perhaps you should be more hedged in GBP. Well, uh, uh, this was certainly the situation in, in uh, 2003, as uh, we did suffer uh, from uh, the evolution uh, of the, the British pound. Uh, in 2004, it's no longer the case, uh, as uh, we have uh, protected ourselves uh, against uh, a further decrease uh, in the value uh, of the pound. Uh, we have uh, protected ourselves completely for our full sales on year 2004. Final question, I swear. Um, just a quick one on the share buyback scheme. It's been going on for four or five years. Yes. What would you say to your, if you had to say something very briefly to your shareholders, um, how do you plan to continue this, this uh, scheme? Well, what I would say is that uh, uh, due to our present uh, net positive financial position, which is uh, above uh, 1 billion euros, uh, we will continue our share buyback uh, uh, program, depending, of course, on the, uh, on the uh, value of the share. Uh, we still uh, do think that uh, our stock is undervalued, uh, considering our performance present and future, and that, therefore, it's a good investment for the company and our shareholders to buy back our shares. Thank you, sir. Thank you.